Hi everyone, it's Miss Dana. Today I am reading I Love You Stinky Face, written by Lisa McCourt and illustrated by Sid Moore. I love you, my wonderful child, said Mama as she tucked me in. But I had a question. Mama, what if I were a big scary ape? Would you still love me then? If you were a big scary ape, I would comb your whole hairy self to make sure you didn't have any tangles. And I would make your birthday cake out of bananas. And I would tell you, I love you, my big scary ape. But mama, but mama, what if I were a super smelly skunk and I smelled so bad that my name was Stinky Face? Then I would give you a bath and sprinkle you with sweet smelling powder. And if you still smelled bad, I wouldn't mind. And I would hug you tight and whisper in your ear, I love you, Stinky Face. But mama, but mama, what if I were an alligator with big sharp teeth that could bite your head off? Then I would buy you a bigger toothbrush for your big teeth and make sure that you brush them every night so they'd stay healthy and strong. And if you had a sore throat, I would stick my head right inside your enormous jaws to make sure you were okay. And I would say, I love you, my ferocious alligator. But mama, what if I were a terrible meat-eating dinosaur with razor sharp claws that ripped my sheets to shreds every night while I slept? Then I would give you plenty of meat to eat if that is what you liked and I would sew your sheets back together every day because after all, ripping them would be an accident. And I would tuck you into your newly mended sheets every night and say, I love you, my sweet, terrible dinosaur. But mama, but mama, what if I were a swamp creature with slimy, smelly seaweed hanging from my body and I couldn't ever leave the swamp or I would die? Then I would build a house right next to the swamp and I would stay with you and take care of you always. And when you splash to the surface, I would say, I love you, my slimy little swamp monster. But mama, but mama, what if I were a green alien from Mars and I ate bugs instead of peanut butter? Then I would dress you in colors that showed off your nice green skin and I would pack your lunch with beetles and spiders and ants and grasshoppers and the tastiest bugs you ever had. And I would pack a note with all the bugs that said, I love you little greenie, bon appetit. But mama, but mama, what if I were a cyclops and I had just one big gigantic eye in the middle of my head. Then I would look right into your gigantic eye and say, I love you, my little Cyclops. And I would sing you a lullaby until your one gigantic eyelid got droopier and droopier. And it finally closed and you fell fast asleep. I love you, mama. And I love you, my wonderful child. Thanks so much for listening. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more read-alouds.